I'm Lucy and today I'm going to be rating soul shampoos. Yeah, that's the entirety of the video really. I've got my little notepad here, even with a university I don't go to, but got on an open day because all the notes are previously written like on my phone, which is what I used to film. So I'm going to have to go old school right down. Yeah, so let's get started. Right, I'm going to start with a bonus round because I don't feel like I've used this long enough to actually rate it, like it wouldn't be fair. I've used it like once, yeah once, because I bought it for this video and then did, I bought two for this video because I tried quite a lot before that but I, I wanted to like beef it out a bit and then didn't get around to using it. I will use it but it felt a bit unfair to like start rating it but <laughs> initial imp so first impressions, little bonus video for that, there for you. Um, it smells so good. Honestly, it's like just such a... Oh, I'm gonna get purple shampoo all over my white bedding, aren't I? <laughs> right, I'm back. What I was trying to say is it's just such a fresh, clean smell that it, it'd be really nice on your hair. And it's quite... It is quite strong, but it's not like overwhelming. So it just, you know, when a breeze hits you, it'd just be really nice. And yeah, it did make my hair feel nice. I couldn't really see a difference, to be honest. But... Now is probably not the time to be filming this video because obviously we're in lockdown. I've not had my hair done for at least, probably since Christmas. <laughs> so, like, it's gone to the point that it's not really going to get any more, like, blonde. Which is why I didn't think it was fair to try this because I wouldn't know if it had actually made a difference. So yeah, excuse the fact that I look a bit of a mess. <laughs> well, my hair does. But it's just lockdown I can't really help it but I still wanted to film this video but yeah back to this it is it seems nice it's quite cheap I'm sure it was like two pounds I'll link everything below with the prices but I'm sure it was only like two pound or something silly like that and yeah it says it's for highlighter brunette blonde and silver hair can become warm and brassy over time oh it's saying that use this because it can be. I thought it was saying it'll turn your hair brassy. I was like, isn't that not the po the opposite of the point of the shampoo? But it's not. So it didn't really say a lot about it. Neutralizes yellow and orange tones. But I've only used it once, but it seemed quite nice. So if you're looking for a new, give it a try one. Maybe try this. And it's cheap enough that if it don't really work, it's not that big of an issue. It's still gonna wash your hair for you. If it doesn't turn it silver. Or whatever you're going for. Less, less yet. Brassy tones, maybe? I don't know. Now for the actual chunk of the video. It's, I'm gonna start, I've got six, no, I've got five, maybe six including that one. I've got five to talk about. I'm obviously gonna start worse first because gotta keep that element of mystery going on, aren't I? So yeah, the first, the one I like the least, I suppose don't like it at all, is this Provoke Professional Hair Care one. I don't know how much this was because my mum bought it for me when she went shopping once. I think I've had this for quite a while. It was when I first, not when I first started dyeing my hair because that'd be years ago so this bottle would be rank. But um, when I first got it re-dyed this time I tried to use this again because I've used it before that and I just don't like it. It's, it makes my hair feel a bit like straw <laughs> and to be honest I don't, even though it looks quite bad at minute because I haven't had a cut, I don't have a, like really dry hair or anything like that. So, I don't know why you'd turn it so not nice, if you know what I mean. And I don't think it did that much. Like, yeah, it, yes, it took a tiny bit of the yellow away. But I used my shampoos to tone my hair as well. Like, you know when I first had it dyed, she don't put a toner on it anymore. She tells me to just use this because if not, it'd be like a strange colour all over. Because obviously it's already got so much silver shampoo in it. But this just didn't do anything, <laughs> like, it just left my hair the same colour it was after I dyed it and it's not what I want, so. Yeah, like, it is cheap, I think, but I don't know if I'd, it's worth your money, like, I just, it seemed like a bit of a waste, like, yeah, it got the gr grease and stuff out of my hair when I was washing it, but that's not really what I need out of silver shampoo, because most of the time, I shampoo with a normal shampoo, like, Aussie, I'm loving the, um, soap and glory shampoo and conditioner at the minute I think it's really good but point is I know the shampoo the roots because I don't have it dyed on the top and I don't want it to go like super dark <laughs> um, and just do the ends so that's not what I really need out of a silver shampoo so yeah like 
I just won't bother with it. I don't think it's very good at all, to be honest. Yeah. Just throw it away like the trash it is. <laughs> right. Uh, so that's five. Number four. Sorry, I'm just referring to my notes. Is Cretans? Cretans. Cretans. I don't know. It looks like that. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that, but we'll hope you can. <laughs> it's the Sunshine Blonde Silver with Violet Pigments. Tone corrected. This is actually conditioner, but I did have the shampoo. But obviously, I use the shampoo up a lot faster than I did the conditioner because I normally have a normal conditioner as well. So, yeah. It says brightens blondes and neutralizes brassiness. That's what they all say in it, really. Like, well, no special description there. Love that they all say that, but you know. Um, I can't remember why I didn't like this. Oh yeah, it left my hair feeling really nice actually. Like both the shampoo and the conditioner, it made my hair feel really nice, refreshed, soft, which obviously is the dream. But again, didn't really do anything. <laughs> Maybe it would work as like a little top up, but there's no point in buying a whole bottle or something for a little top up, is there? So yeah, like, maybe I'd use it as a normal shampoo and conditioner because I liked the way it felt on my hair, but didn't really do anything. <laughs> so yeah, that's literally all I've got to say about that. There's nothing else, like, I can't go into detail about it because yeah, it's nice as a shampoo. But if you want, if your whole point is you're buying a silver plush violet shampoo and it doesn't do that, what's the point in buying it? So yeah, there's that. Another one that just doesn't really work. <laughs> and then I've got, I haven't got a bottle of this, but I promise I've used it. <laughs> but I've thrown it away because I did it before I knew I was going to film this video. Lee Strafford silver shampoo. And I've got such mixed feelings about this one because it worked really well like for the first few washes and it made my hair feel really nice which is why it should be further up at this list but if you're not careful with it it turns your hair really pink which is not kind of the vibe I'm going for like you can excuse a silver shampoo if it turns your hair purple or like a little bit blue on the ends or a bit too grey maybe but it turned it full on pink <laughs> right sorry I'm back my dad came home and then I got a pulse I'm just going to show you it because it's so cute Look. It's these, it were mystery bundle. To be honest, I normally probably wouldn't order these types of earrings, but I do really like them, so I'm quite well glad that I did. And it's like, I've got a little pair, pair of stars, I've got another pair of stars with green ones, and these little roses. How cute are they? And, because she's so cute, it came with a drumstick and a pair of packet of Swizzlers that I've opened. So yeah, her Etsy, she's on Etsy, it's M. Earrings, And oh, she's so cute, like, I love her a bit. I don't know her, but I love her. <laughs> so yeah, back to the shampoos. <laughs> it's, I was talking about the Lee Stafford one, weren't I? So yeah, it didn't turn my hair like full on pink, but it was noticeably pink, <laughs> which is not really what I'm going for in a silver shampoo. But I think if you used it like a moderate amount, so alternated it a lot with normal shampoo, whereas normally I like use silver shampoo for ages and I think, oh, my hair's getting a bit grey and change it. <laughs> I think if you like moderated it, it'd be fine, but I don't know because my hair went pink. So that's up to you to decide really, isn't it? <laughs> the next one, this broke my heart to put it in not the top, to be honest, because I've been using this since I first started dyeing my hair, which was year 10. I'm now going into second year of uni. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of hurt me to not put this at the top <laughs> because it is really good. It works so well, it turns your hair completely, it does. It just works so quickly, it go, it like numbs it com like really fast and it's owned by an absolute god of a woman, <laughs> Lou Teasdale, you know, One Direction's hairstylist and she's like an ambassador for Tanologist I think, absolutely love her, power woman, like icon, <laughs> she owns this and it just works really well. The thing that made me put it second is it can make my hair feel a bit like, not straw, but dry. So like, it comes, the match with this is a really, really thick conditioner, but I don't like it, it makes my hair greasy. But if I use this with a normal conditioner, it can make my hair dry. So I can't use it too much. 
which it's a bit of a balance because obviously it saves you money because you're not using it all the time but I want to be able to use it in my hair and not get like stripped which it doesn't completely like wipe it out but it is a bit like so yeah even though I love it and I would recommend it for the rest of my life it's no longer my favourite which hurts me to say so da -da 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 -da. top one it's a new one. I've, this is, I honestly thought when I started thinking about this video, this was going to be my favourite. And then I bought some more to try out for this video. And I love this so much. I just love it. It smells... I wouldn't say amazing, but I won't go that far. Like, to be honest, this one smells better. But it smells really nice. It makes your hair feel super clean. I love the packaging as well. It just looks jazzy on your side. <laughs> like... And it's got a really nice like scrunchy material that just feels nice and it works it just works like there's nothing else I can say about it just works so well and yeah it says it's a yellow neutralizer for blonde grey or white hair same as they are but it makes my hair go I mean it's quite dark at the minute because it's not been dyed in ages but it makes my hair go like more white than grey which I like at the minute I'm into that and I just really like it it wasn't even that expensive like this again another thing that makes it better <laughs> I can't remember if this was on sale or not so I'll link it and if it isn't if it was on sale when I bought it I'm sorry for saying this but this one it was honestly like maybe three pounds this is eight and while I justified it for that long I'm definitely going to repurchase this instead because it does the same thing it makes my hair feel nicer and it's cheaper <laughs> so like where can you go wrong with that <laughs> yeah and I just love it like and I knew as soon as I opened it I knew it was gonna be really good because it's the same colour bubble it's the same colour as when you open this one I can't even show you because there's nothing in it because I've used it to death but obviously like this is quite new so I've used it not that much but I've been using it for, I have been, I didn't use it that much compared to that one, but I have been using it for long enough to know if that I like it. And yeah, it's just such a deep, I knew it was going to be good because it's such a deep purple in the bottle. So when you put it on, it doesn't feel like it's not going to do anything because it completely takes the colour out of your hair. And I just love it. Like, <laughs> I've got nothing else to say. I just love it. <laughs> So yeah, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you liked it, hope you found your number one, best one. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching.